Hello everyone, it's Crystal with Stitching Crystal. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I am sorry everyone, it has been a couple of weeks since I posted. Um, just it's been rather insane and I know I feel like I say that every time but to be completely honest it has been a next level of insane. So um, I have been thinking about you, I just really haven't it's not that I haven't had the time, I, I'm not gonna make excuses. I could have had the time to make a video, but sometimes when life is incredibly stressful for me, the last thing I wanna do is uh, do something that creates more stress or is work, you know? Um, and as much as I love talking to you all, which I do, um, sometimes when I get overwhelmed, I just need some space or I need to take some quiet time for myself. So that's what I've been doing this last couple of weeks. Um, things are getting better um, without going into too much detail. They are getting much better on that front. So hopefully here soon, um, there will be some changes with the move. The house has progressed hugely, if that's the correct way of saying that. Uh, it's gotten uh, much farther in the last couple of weeks. So. Um, we're making steady progress on that. So hopefully here I will be moving soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, that has its own level of headaches, but it's overall a very good thing and I'm very excited about it. Um, it does take a little bit away from my stitchy time, which I'm not too happy about. I use that for stress relief and um, just for people meditate, I cross stitch as probably some of you guys do as well. But we are getting there. Um, so with that being said, let's go over the progress. You know, coming into this, you know, when you're not uh, documenting yourself and seeing what you're doing, you don't realize kind of some of your patterns. And I think that's been the biggest realization that I've had since working or talking to you guys, I should say, um, is that I thought I was way more all over the place or maybe I was until I started uh, doing this channel and you know I thought oh okay I go from piece to piece to piece and it seems like ever since I started this channel or started documenting it I tend to stay on one piece so I wonder if that's been true in the past I just haven't recognized it but we did stay on one piece this time the last time we talked was June 4th. Yes, it's been that long. Um, and we were working on Still Life uh, from Golden Orb Designs, or really from Heaven and Earth Designs is the one I purchased the, pa the pattern from. Um, and we were at 2.57%, which oh, I thought was really good because I had only been working on it for about three weeks, I think, at that point. But now that we're six weeks, we are... I'm going to show you first. I'm very excited about this because the progress is fast. Look at that. I mean, you know, it's hard because it's all just blue at this point, but we're, we're getting there. We're, we're almost to the point where it's going to change. But we are at 5.16%. That's over 13,000 stitches as of today which is pretty impressive. 5% in what, six weeks, a month and a half. That's pretty, these are huge pieces. They take forever. And so even with everything going on, 5% I think is pretty spectacular. Um, oops, sorry about that. So you're probably going, oh, there's there's specks in there and you're missing crystal. No, those are stars. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I think the only one, yeah, even that one, which looks like I missed it, there's there and there, um, are all filled in. They're stars. I think the only one that I haven't done so far is all the way right there at the end. So um, I am absolutely loving. I wish the camera could pick up more detail, get a little closer. But those color changes are color changes. Um, there's like four, four or five colors outside of the stars, the spec stars that are um, color changes. 
Uh, I know this is a part of a galaxy kind of looking thing in the picture, which let me, let me show you. Let me show you the picture. This is what we're working on, the still life. So, and I always confuse this, but I think this is the way that it's supposed to be, literally like this. So, um, I think right now we're about half way so I think we're getting to this section here so it is getting much lighter as you can tell with the blues they've gone from very dark the camera might not be picking it up completely there we go but you can see some of that galaxy because all of this is completed and so some of that galaxy is there and then we are the halfway point I believe is right before the end of this page break which is where that that is right there so um, we're almost to the halfway point going down which is pretty spectacular because I think it's it's four pages maybe five I say four I wish I I I'd use my phone but I'm talking to you um, I think it's four pages down but it's like three and a half or three and a quarter pages um, going down so um, we are almost at the halfway point seeing as this is this would be the end of page two um, it's been going really well I have been struggling which I knew I was going to at the beginning of this with this being so close to the edge that is not something I typically would do uh, I just have this this is pre-cut 22 a uh, hard anger I feel like I always say it wrong um, Hard Anger from uh, Hobby Lobby, which I grabbed a bunch of it off and on. Um, I was not able to get a part of that sale that happened three months ago, I think now, um, where they were just getting rid of everything. Um, so with that being said, I thought, oh, okay, I can make it do. I'm going to end up, um, I used, uh, I think, Fabric Stop. I'm trying to look for it. I could look in here for the bottle, but it's like fabric stop or something. It's like a, it's like a fabric glue that um, stops the edges from fraying. I have had to deal with some of that going on, as you can tell. Um, I didn't surge. I'm not a big. I don't really know how to do sewing machines, um, or else I would have. Um, but it seems to be working really well. Um, I have had problems with the Q snap. And it being so close on this edge so I've been using my q-snap with felt over or under the q-snap grip um, that goes over it um, but yeah I'm just trying to get this part done if I can get this section completed moving forward is going to be so much easier because I won't have to worry about it the extra time it takes to get so close to the q-snap and then having the snap be just in the right position um, because you know I have to have enough you know visibility and space from the key snap to be able to stitch and it's just ugh, I'm not a fan of it um, but I was trying to make the piece of piece that I, size I already had work and it's you know it's so close that I didn't feel like I needed to necessarily buy another piece I might regret that because I have to redo all of this again on the other side so <laughs> we'll see but for right now it's okay um, but yeah I'm really excited 5% um, I know that it's been difficult I usually get to about 5% on a project and then I'm like oh what else is out there um, and it's not helpful right now that Heaven and Earth Designs is doing a, um, a sale so if you haven't looked at that, you're, you would just want to check that out and take care of that 50% off. But yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for watching my channel and hopefully I will see you next time. Have a good week.